Let's talk about how to recover your hacked Google or Gmail account without any recovery phone number or without any recovery email address. When someone hack your Google account, immediately he will change all of your login details and recovery method. Then you don't have access to any of your recovery method. In this video, I will show you how to get back your hacked Google or Gmail account without any verification method. Before we jump into the video, I invite you to watch this video to the very end. Then you can get the clear idea after you can follow every step of mine. Then easily you can recover your hacked Google or Gmail account. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. To recover your Google or Gmail account, you can use any Google application. But in this video, I will show you how to do that thing just using your default web browser. If you want to learn more other methods, I will put all the video links in the description as well as I invite you to watch the full tutorial before you start. So open your default web browser. You don't need to use the same browser that I'm using right now. Open any browser that you used to log into your Google account within last year. After that, type and search Gmail recovery. Then you have to select this one, account support. Then you will be redirected to this window. Here you have to enter your email or phone number. If you don't remember your email address, you can tap find your account. At least you send an email to a friend, you can ask help from your friend. Then you can enter your Gmail address here. After entering, tap the next button. Then they ask to enter your password. Since you don't know our password, tap either forgot password option or try a different cache option. From now on, they will ask different different question. If you have access to any of these recovery method, you can get a verification code. After that, you can easily reset your Google password. Like this, they ask enter verification code. Since I can't get any verification code, I will tap try different question option. As well as they ask to enter any backup code. Since I don't remember any backup code, I don't have any backup code. So I will tap try a different cache. Then they ask to enter your mobile number, then they will send a verification code. Here, if you can access your mobile number, first enter the mobile number here. After that, they will send a verification code to this phone number. This is kind of possible recovery method. Even if you lost your SIM card, you can request a new SIM card to the same number from your telecommunication service. After that, easily you can reset your Google account password. But unfortunately, if you don't have access to your mobile number, tap try a different cache. Now you can see all your email address, including your recovery email address, as well as your additional email address. The first one, your current email address. The second one is your recovery email address. Most of the time you have access to your recovery email address. Like this, you can select your recovery email address. They will send a verification code. After that, you can reset your password. Or if you have already added some additional email address, they will list out here. So select any email address if you have access. But unfortunately, if you don't have access to any of these email address, you have to select the fourth option, try another way to sign in. Then some of you could get this error window. It says couldn't sign you in. They have mentioned two reasons. The first one is they ask you to answer many questions as you can. That's mean they ask you to select at least one verification or recovery method. Then they ask you to use another device that you used to sign into your Google account previously. But don't worry, we can fix this issue. Without getting this error window, if you could get that welcome back window and they will allow you to update your password, you can jump into the last chapter, which I show you how to recover or reset your Google or Gmail account password. But unfortunately, if you got this error window, we have to fix this error. So to fix this error, I invite you to close your all application, including your browser. Like this, close your browser. After that, you have made some adjustment. So swipe down to the notification bar again swipe down to get the full view after that you have to switch between networks if you are using wi-fi network like me you can switch to your mobile network and also if you are using mobile network you have to switch to familiar wi-fi network like this you can switch between networks mode after that you have to turn on location permission within your device. So tap location, then it will be turned on. Still you are not done, you have to make some changes for your browser. So swipe up, then select settings. After that, you have to select apps manager or apps. 
then select your default web browser then you have to select this permission window here you can see no permission allowed so it is better if you can allow at least your contact location and your internal storage like this you can turn on or allow these permission one by one these three things are critical contact location and your internal storage if you want like this you can turn on all these permission until you recover your account after recovering your account if you want you can remove these permission like this allow this permission then close settings after that you have to reopen your web browser then this is the error that i got earlier i close this tab then i will go to my browser home screen then you can restart your recovery process again as fresh this time i will use another method to recover your account now type and search how to recover your google account or gmail then you have to select the very first search result here they have added a new feature to recover your account using their help desk but i highly recommend you to scroll down and select recover your google account or gmail under forward password then you can see account recovery here you have to enter your hacked gmail address if you don't know or if you forgot your email you can get help from forgot email option then they will ask your first name and last name after that they will find out your hacked gmail after entering tap the next button here they ask to enter your password since if you don't know or hacker has changed it you have to tap try another way now they will provide all possible recovery method one by one it is better if you can answer at least one of these questions what i mean select at least one recovery method then get a verification code but unfortunately if you can't answer you have to select try another way so if you add any backup code you can enter it here this is one little crucial recovery method if you have access to your mobile number you can enter it here you can see here the last two digits of your mobile number if you don't have your sim card you can request a new sim card to the same number from your telecommunication partner after that you can easily reset or recover your google or gmail account password but unfortunately if you don't remember your phone number or you didn't add any phone number hacker has changed it you have to select try another way option now you can see your all recovery email address for the first one this is my hacker email address then the second one is your recovery email address if you can access your recovery email address you can select that then you can get a verification code after verifying yourself they will allow you to reset your password i highly recommend that method too if you don't have access to any of these recovery method tap try another way to sign in again you will get this error message to fix this error all you have to do sign up then tap help in the bottom left corner after that you will be redirected to this window here tap the hamburger menu in the top left corner after that you have to select the last option submit feedback at the bottom of the list tap submit feedback in the pop up window select the first one and tap the next button after that you will get this window here you have to describe your issue like this i will paste my issue here it is better if you can customize this message otherwise google ai thinks this is another spam so they will ignore this message so enter the customized message like this then it is better if you can enter your contact email then they can contact you then it is better if you can add a screenshot of your problem like this i will add my screenshot after if you want you can check this option finally you have to submit this form so tap the send button in the bottom right corner after that you will get this thank you menu then you have to wait at least 24 hours to respond you normally they will take about 24 hours after little bit time you have to go back to your contact email address then if you open your contact email address you can see there is a new email from google if you open that email there is a one time recovery link you can use this link to reset or recover your password tap get started then you will get this welcome back window they could verify this account really belongs to you then they allow you to update your password tap update password button then you can create a new strong password 
enter your new password twice after that you have to tap the save password button then they will allow you to go through security checkup in this video i'm not going to show you how to increase your security level of your account i will upload a separate video otherwise this video will be much longer then you can get back into your hacked google or gmail account this is just one way to recover your account there are alternative ways as well as if you got that's either call couldn't sign you in we can fix all these errors. You can find different tutorials on my YouTube channel. Each video has a unique way to recover your Google or Gmail account. I invite you to try out if this method didn't work for you. You can find those video links in the description or you can click this end screen video and come on over. That's it for today's tutorial. See you in the next one. Later.